presentations at once. Right now I'm just recording, I'm not screaming, streaming. You can, uh, even with the free version, have 90 minutes of meeting time, unlike Zoom, which gives you 40 minutes and then shuts you off. And it does all kinds of other cool stuff. So maybe what I'll do next week is do a little bonus tutorial on Be Connected, how it works, what it is, why I like it and use it so much. Um, because again, I can have my slides right here on screen. I don't have to you know, run around. I can just say, hey, look, there's the slide. Um, and show it that way and then just come back on camera whenever I want without having to do a, a, a big switcheroo. So anyway, we'll talk more about that at some point down the road. For now, I just want to get into Descript because we have a lot to cover here. I can sort of do the standing on my head at this point because I've done Descript. I've worked on Descript for so long and I probably use it, I don't know, five times a day, 10 times a day. Um, so um, the 90 minutes is, is every session on, on uh, Richard's asking on Be Connected. So anytime you go on, you have 90 minutes uh, on the free version. It's unlimited on the paid versions. All right, so we are on day three, Descript. And I'm going to hide the chat so that we can see our slides here and advance our slides. And like I said, uh, if we have time at the end, which I think we will, we'll also do a live demo. So um, just a few words, uh, a little bit of an overview again of why we're doing this and how AI is making video easier and more accessible. It saves a ton of time when you're using these AI tools. Again, just for review, Monday, we looked at pictory.ai Yesterday, we looked at Augie, and today we're looking at Descript. And all of the replays are on my YouTube channel. Just search Lou Bortone on YouTube, and you'll see everything's in a playlist. So all the replays are there if you missed one. And I'll record this and put that there as well. So um, you can repurpose your content much more easily with uh, AI tools, which is great because you can turn your blog posts and articles into videos. You can turn podcasts into videos. You can take any text and turn it into a video. Uh, yesterday, we looked a lot at the AI voices, which is really cool. And you can auto caption or caption your videos, which is important because 85% of videos are watched with the sound off and tools like Pictory, by adding captions, you can view time. So that's a good thing. Or as Robert Weiss says, business decision makers love online video because it gives them the most amount of information in the shortest amount of time. Yet another compelling reason to add video to your marketing mix. So I'm going to give you this Descript demo here. Uh, this is me on Descript. And um, well, that looks kind of funny. Hang on a second. So what I when I do this, and I have a whole class on this, by the way, um, when I do the Descript course, I talk about the fact that traditional video editing can have a steep learning curve and it can get very expensive and very time consuming. So I use Final Cut Pro, which is 300 bucks, Camtasia is 300 bucks, Adobe Premiere, uh, After Effects, all these things, and I've purchased all of them, believe me get really expensive. And if you want to add stock photos or uh, footage to your projects, then it gets really expensive, 99 bucks a month or up. So the great thing about Descript is it eliminates the need for all of those tools. Um, I use Final Cut Pro now, which I've used for 25 years. I use it very sparingly because I can do so much on Descript. You can do video editing. You can do podcasting. You can record right from your screen. It gives you the transcript. It gives you clips. It has AI voices. So really, um, and I wanted to put this sort of smack in the middle of our five-day challenge here because Descript is the one tool that I think really does it all. There are other tools that might be a little bit better uh, in terms of the AI voices like Pictory, but Descript is really kind of the one-stop place where you can do all of your video editing, which is great. Um, it started as a podcast platform. I don't know if you can hear Rocco barking. 
I thought Rocco was kind of losing his mind right now. Um, in any event, it started as a podcast platform and evolved into a video platform. But one of the ways I still use it is I take audio podcasts and I turn them into videos. So the thing about traditional editing is you have timelines. They can get really, uh, really, you know, hard to manage and steep learning curve not to mention expensive. And this is the way I've edited for, for years and years since my TV days. But Descript sort of turns that on its head and makes it much simpler because instead of having this, and this is one of my projects in Final Cut Pro with how many layers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. Descript, you edit in the text. So basically whatever changes you make in the transcript are reflected in the the video. Now with the script, you can import your video or your audio and you edit from the text. Uh, there's some really cool one click effects like studio sound that makes everything sound awesome. Just by adding studio sound with one click, I call it the national public radio effect because it makes everybody sound like a professional announcer. You can remove the filler words with one click which is great for me because I didn't realize till I started doing this that I say um and ah like a thousand times and I take all those out with one click. You can add photos, videos, music. You can create new scenes with B-roll, which is again, background, sorry about the jargon, but it's background footage or um, what you see, you know, when it's not a talking head, maybe you're seeing some background footage or some B-roll. Um, you can replace the background with a two-click green screen effect. That's one of my favorites because the green screen is awesome and you don't even need to have an actual green screen. You can just take out the background and put in a new one. You can add waveforms, progress bars. You can adjust the size to square or portrait, which means you can change the orientation. And again, you're editing text. You're not really editing the video and the timeline. There is a timeline down here, which I'll show you in a moment, but you're really doing more with the text. So whatever changes you make to that text are reflected in the video. If you take out a word in the text, it takes it out of the video, like magic, true AI and AI at its best. Some of the ways that you might use this, let me go to the chat real quick. Good, Debbie can't hear the dog. Dolores can't hear at all. Um, I'm just going to type in a note here that you might want to refresh. Refresh for sound, maybe. I don't know. Um, hopefully that'll work. Sound. Lisa says the sound's okay for her. All right. So some of the ways that you might want to use this would be, let me hide the chat, um, for, oops, I hit the wrong button. Yes, the script is truly amazing. It really is. I'm going to go back to my slides here, which hopefully you can see. Um, you can turn an audio podcast into a video. I do that all the time with two or three different clients, much more quickly than it used to be in other software. You can take an article or a blog post and make that into a video. You can get great green screen with one click, which is a pet peeve of mine because I've been doing that since the TV days, like 25, 30 years ago when it was really hard. Uh, resize and repurpose any video, remove filler words. You can edit Zoom interviews and turn those into really professional looking videos. You can add captions to any video. You can create clips uh, and promos so you can repurpose longer videos into shorter videos, add intros and outros, create social media promos. There's so much you can do with this tool and it's so versatile. Um, that's why I'm a big fan and use it quite a lot. So um, I'm going to show you also on, um, they've now added a whole bunch of new AI tools within Descript, which is really cool because now it'll go and find clips for you or create show notes or create um, YouTube description. So again, at the end, I'll show you a little bit more of that in a live demo. In the meantime, yeah, just realize that this, you know, you can record on it, you can do live collaborations, they have templates, they have stock media. So it's a really a uh, great way to just sort of do all of your editing, video editing and video creation in one space. And I will say yesterday we looked at Augie, which was really more about creating off-camera videos or creating videos with footage and images and things like that where you're not necessarily on camera. 
I think the script is better when you're doing your regular on-camera videos, but you want to enhance them or edit them or add stuff to them. So again, um, you can see here's a project, a typical project here you'll see. And sometimes the screen looks different. They change it constantly, which is why I do a course on it at discoverdescript.com. Um, here I can look at the transcript and make changes to that. There is a timeline at the bottom, but most of the time I'm just working in the transcript here. And you can see I've added captions to this particular one. Um, and you can also check out their templates because that's where you can add intros and outros to your videos if you want. So they do have, um, it's you know somewhat limited, but they do have templates so that if you say, I wanna have an intro or a title slide to this video or podcast, you can do that and then customize it. Um, again, you can record right into the script, whether it's audio or you wanna record your screen or you wanna record you. Descript uh, recently acquired a company called Squadcast. So that's what they use for their recording, which is a really high end, excellent way to record videos. So when you buy Descript, you also get Squadcast as an extra bonus, which is really cool. Um, again, the studio sound is incredible. It's amazing what you can do with one click. Um, I've had um, situations where I've had you know, a guy blowing leaves, doing landscaping in my yard or whatever, and I couldn't hear it after I added the studio sound. It takes out all the background noise. It makes you sound way better. Uh, you do have the ability to put in your own voice or stock voices. Now, they don't have nearly as many as Pictory or Augie, but the ones they do have are pretty good. So if you needed an, uh, a voiceover or an intro, they do have stock voices that you can use. And uh, they also have that green screen effect, which is amazing because they, they give you really good, a really good green screen, even if your lighting is not that great, even if you don't have an actual green screen behind you. So there's a lot to love about Descript. You can add B-roll or footage or images. And again, this is all included with Descript. So you get access to all kinds of stock videos and images and sound effects and music and the whole deal. So same with music, you can add background music uh, or background um, soundtracks to your videos, also included with the script. Um, I'll share my screen in a bit and show you the pricing and all that, but it's pretty damn reasonable. Um, and then again, you can um, just resize and repurpose your video. So if you decide you want to do something for Instagram Reels or TikTok that's vertical or portrait size, you can very easily make that change in Descript. So this is what my Descript looks like on any given day. I've got all my projects in here. You can see I use it multiple times a day. When you go to create a project, you go up to Descript and click on the blue new project button in the upper right. And then it's going to ask you whether you want to import something or uh, start recording right into Descript. You can actually start writing from Descript as well. So if you just want to uh, type your text in here, usually I, I import a file or I choose a file to transcribe. So I bring in an audio or a video file. And when I bring it in, Descript automatically transcribes it. The other cool thing, like I said, I say I'm an ah a million times because I'm from Boston. So uh, yeah, park the car and you can take out all of those filler words, what's, what's called filler words with one click. So look at all the ahs and ums and I means and ums and all those little pausey words. Uh, Descript will take them out of your script and out of your video with one magic AI click. yippee ki -yay. Uh, again, the studio sound is outstanding. That's a one-click um, function as well that will make your whole video sound better. Um, you've got your, uh, you can make corrections here where, again, this is important if you decide to add captions. So it missed my name here. I can just go in and correct it um, and it will fix that. Or I can cross it out and it won't say it at all. Um, so I can make corrections or overdubs if I have to. If I need footage, if I say, you know what, I don't want to be on camera the whole time. I'm talking about, um, maybe I'm talking about the fact that I'm from Boston, speaking of that. 
I can just go in to the files and search Boston and I'm going to get all this footage, all this nice professional footage. This is aerial footage in this case. And these are videos. So you can add that while you're talking about Boston or whatever you're talking about. You can add that video from Descript into your project. Um, same with music. You can add uh, background music or sound effects if you need to. Um, you can add captions. Now, in this case, I want to show you that I took a, a regular landscape widescreen video and I turned it into a square video because I wanted to have some space to add captions and stuff. So I, I made it a square video. And you can see here where you can add the captions under the little T symbol. And then I added my captions. And even the captions, I can customize. I can change the colors. I can change the way that they you know, transition in or out. This particular style is called karaoke. So it shows the highlighted word that you're saying. Uh, again, I can customize the colors and the fonts. Uh, and then I can add a waveform at the bottom. Like if I want to just have the captions, but I want people to show that, okay, there's audio in here. There's something happening here. I add a waveform and then that shows up at the bottom here. I can also customize and change the color of that. So this is a really good way to take videos where the sound might be off to sort of give them the sense that, you know, there is audio in there if somebody wants to turn it on. So I've got my waveform here. I made it purple to match my background. This background is a Descript green screen background, by the way. Um, and then here's the green screen function under effects. So I can take whatever I have in my background, click on the green screen function, and that will knock out the background. So it just leaves you, which is totally amazeballs. Um, and then I can import another image or video to put behind me, because right now there's nothing behind me. I took out the background with the green screen, and then I went to my images and I said, find me an office interior. And it came up with a whole bunch of these. So I just pick one of these as my new background um, like that. And there I am in an office, um, which is not really there, but the green screen function made it look great. You don't have all that sort of disappearing ghosting that you get with Zoom. Um, so it just looks a hell of a lot better in my humble opinion. I'm gonna go to the chat real quick and see what's cooking here. Uh, and who is here, yay from Boston. Um, so Vicky asked, what's the difference between a correction and an overdub? A correction you just make in the text and an overdub is where you could say, oh crap, I missed a whole line here. You can go back in and correct that without having to go through the whole video. You can just basically record your, record yourself saying that line and put it in there. Um, if you record a video on an iPhone and portrait, can it be changed to landscape into script? Yes. You can go back and forth to any sizes. Andrea removed her ums. What do you, nobody from Boston says um. um. Does it remove the video? Yes, but you don't even notice it. It's just seamless, which is the amazing thing about it. All right, let me go back to my slides before I get too down, too far down the rabbit hole here. Um, I'm gonna go back to my slides real quick and see where I'm at here. Oops, I went too fast, too far. All right, so now that's the green screen. Next up, we have um, my captions here. I've got a different background here that I intentionally made out of focus. So it's all layers. Basically, the captions are a layer, the background's a layer, I'm a layer in the foreground. So that's the green screen function, which works really well. And uh, then when you're done and happy with your video, you export it. And again, you can export the video, the audio, the transcript, which is really helpful because like if I'm doing a podcast, I want to also have the transcript as well, which is um, surprisingly accurate. Um, and then you just export your video and you're ready to roll. Again, it's the nice thing about this is it can replace other apps like StreamYard, or um, what's the other one? Headliner, which does podcast stuff. Um, I mean, theoretically, I still have Zoom, but you could you you could replace Zoom because you can record right here into Descript. 
So um, Ryan Dice, who I'm sure some of you have heard of, says AI advancements in voiceovers and animation bring new dimension to video content, enhancing visual appeal and increasing audience engagement. The pricing for this, there is a free version, which is very limited, but it's a good place to start. You can do um, uh, one watermark free export a month, one transcription hour. You know, it, it's really just for testing, honestly, because it's somewhat limited. But again, for $12 a month or $144 a year, uh, you get 10 transcription hours, 10 remote recording hours, 4K video, remove the ums and ahs, uh, AI voice cloning. So you can record your own voice and then AI will recreate it for you, which is, it's pretty accurate. Um, and then the plan that I'm on, just for full disclosure, the one that I use because I use it, I'm like a heavy power user, is $24 a month. And that gives you pretty much everything that you could possibly need in here. Transcription, editing, screen recording, templates, stock media, captions, audio, yada, 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 all that. So it's, I think, a really good deal um, because, again, if you're doing, you know, even a medium amount of editing, it's going to save you a ton of time. Um, and let me go back here real quick um, and stop sharing for a second. I'm going to go to the chat and look at questions, and then we're going to share my screen. And um, hopefully, if all goes well, I'll show you Descript live in real time. Okay, so I'm going to look at these questions. Gina asks, can it create a whole new video through AI like you showed in Augie yesterday? No, not as automated. I mean, Augie like, does it you know, sort of um, automatically. With this, you really have to you know, have a document or have a video or have an audio that you're starting with. It doesn't really create anything from scratch, but it can drastically improve your video. Um, Donna asks, does it transcribe the captions or do you manually type those in? No, I don't manually type anything. It totally transcribes the captions. It automatically adds the captions to your video and then you can um, edit and export those as well. Um, okay, what camera are you using? Uh, will a computer camera produce an adequate image? You really don't need a special camera for Descript. I have you know, a DSLR. Uh, because I'm doing so much stuff for clients and things like that. But really, um, especially if you use Squadcast, uh, you don't really need uh, you know anything more than a webcam or a phone. So I don't think that you really need a higher end camera for Descript itself. Um, <clears throat> what am I recommending for a beginner? Which one is better to start with? Um, it's hard to say because it depends on what you're trying to produce for what I do, which is a lot of video editing, a lot of podcast editing. Uh, Descript is my go-to and Pictory would be my second choice. Those are the two that I actually own and pay for. Actually, I pay for in video too, but we'll talk about that Friday. What's the process to take 30 to 60 minute video and produce multiple video shorts? Hi, Linda. Um, well, I will show you um, in the... Uh, live, live demo. So let me share my screen. And I'm going to go to my Descript here. Oh, that's the course app. Um, this is actually the pricing. So let me back out of there for a second. I actually want to start a different screen altogether. Okay. So let me know in the chat if you can see my Descript. Um, window. I just want to make sure. Okay, good. Thanks, Donna. All right. So this is Descript. And what I've done here is I've, thank you, I've imported a, a video that I made, sort of a rough video, right? And you can see I've got my text over here. I've got a timeline down here, but I don't really use it that much. I mostly try to work with the text here. Yes, there will definitely be a recording, Sandy. So um, that the, all the recordings and replays are on my YouTube channel 
Lou Bortone on YouTube. So again, this is, I did sort of a before and after, which I'll also put on YouTube, but this is after the Descript edit. And what I typically do in here is I've got my video. I go over here to studio sound. You won't really be able to tell because I'm recording through my speakers here. But if I turn off the studio sound, it's a little tinny. It's really hard to tell, honestly, because you're hearing it through my speakers. But anyway. When I ask folks why they don't do more video, even though they know that they should be doing more video. So uh, if I click on studio sound, one click, wonder here. Come on, now my mouse isn't working. It just takes out the background noises and makes everything sound cleaner. When I ask folks, so you can hear, you can not really hear why they well don't then. do more video. When I ask folks why they don't do more video, even though they know that they should be doing more video. I've also got music in the background here. So what I did was um, I added um, music. So I went up to my files here and I went to audio. And you can see here, you can choose all these different tracks like that um, you can also add again the footage the videos the backgrounds uh, i'll show you more of that in a moment and um biggie or bg i don't know how to pronounce it i'm sorry but um yes you can add um stuff for your brand because if you go to templates which is over here they're going to show you these are templates, and I think you can still see that, that I've created for clients. So if I'm doing an interview, maybe I have a template for that. Biggie, awesome. I love it. Um, biggie, 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 can't you see? Um, so these are templates that I've created, but they also have templates that you can create. So if you want to put an intro, you've got different intro templates that you can customize here. They've added a few more. Uh, if you want to do um, captions, they've got all kinds of captions things here. Um, and John, what you do if the sounds, um, so again, all kinds of templates here. If the music is not long enough for the video, you can loop it so it'll replay. So that's how you, you know, make sure that you've got enough audio. So this one here, I wanted to show you here where I uh, did the green screen. So basically, I went over to my effects and I added green screen here. I already did it, so you won't see it there. Um, it's right here, green screen. Now, if I shut that off, you'll see my original background. This is my original background. I don't have a green screen. I have a wall with lights on it. And when I click green screen, it turns it, it knocks everything out. So now it's just me with one click. And then I'll go back up to my files here and say, add a background. So I don't want music, I want video. And you can do video or background. So I can be anywhere you want. Tell me where you want, Vegas, Boston, or you can just do a background like like one of these that's sort of, um, you know, generic, but, but motion in it. So if I click on this background, I wanna add this one. Now I've disappeared, but I'm still there. I just have to go back and say, send this to the back. Okay, so now I've got green screen and it looks pretty darn good, I think. I'm talking about studio sound that makes your audio sound. Now I'm running a lot of things at the same time, so it's not playing as smoothly as it normally would, but you can see that that background is pretty clean. And again, if I don't want that sort of generic, I've got tons and tons of things to choose from here over on the left. If I don't want, you know, sort of a motion background or a scary storm background, um, I can go back up to the videos. Let me get rid of this one. Everything's layers here, so I just got to get rid of the right layer. Um, I'm just doing undo here to get rid of the old layer to go back. There we go. So I'm going to go over here, and this time I'm going to click on videos. I can also put images behind me if I want. Um, you have a pop-up green screen. It is a pain to <laughs> put those green screens up and down sometimes. But again, if I want to uh, 
be in, I'm gonna say that this is Italy, just because I wanna pretend it is. It might be Northern California. I'm gonna click on this background. Now, initially it's gonna cover me up. That's okay though. I'm gonna click on this one. And then I'm gonna click send to back. You can change the background for every single scene. You can change the background 20 times if you want. Send to back. I'm gonna click this and then click send to back. It's running a little slowly here. And now I'm in, hey, why didn't it work? Send to back, I said. Oh, because I've got like three layers of it here. There it is, okay. You can see I'm still back there. It's just, I'm on a different layer. So I have to change my layers and click send to back. There we go. Now I'm in the lovely fields of green. I'm talking about all kinds of really cool features like removing filler words. Um, yeah. So that's the green screen, which is amazing. Yeah, the green screen is, it's a layer, but it's blank. So this is actually the green screen. Now, again, if I turn this off, if I shut off green screen here with one click, my background is going to come back eventually, but it's slow. Um, so you can make a video at the villa, yes. Dive into the pool overlooking the ocean and then be seen climbing into your private jet. Of course. Um, absolutely. So if I want to search villa. Wow, that's a nice villa. So again, these are videos. For the background, honestly, I'd probably just use a photo because it doesn't have the motion. And so if I go to images and then I've got a photo this looks like yeah that looks like my house as if um so now it's here i'm going to make it a little bit bigger this is really my ocean house um send it back and now i'm in front of my house and i can move myself around here too so if i want to show more of that everything is movable flexible customizable etc so there we have it um, the green screen does work if you don't have good lighting, um, which is amazing. And it also works if you don't have an actual green screen. So again, when I'm happy with this video and I have it the way that I want it, everything's still down here in the timeline. But again, I don't use that too much. That's sort of the traditional editing. Um, and then I'm just going to go to publish. And when I do the export, I can export the video, the transcript, the audio, whatever I might want. Um, so, doo -doo 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 -doo. so Lisa, this is a common problem with green screen. Um, but, oops, I'm moving around so much I'm getting out of focus. But um, if you try it with Descript, it'll probably look a lot better because it's not Zoom where it has that sort of artificial, out of focusy thing. Sandy has a good question. Can you edit the word so that you change something you're saying from a certain phrase to something else? Um, yes. Um, so basically what you're doing then is replacing it. So yeah, this, it might not sync up totally uh, the way you want it to. I gotta go back here. But you can go in here and say, um, if I take a line here, and click on it, I can ask it to, um, what can I do here? I can um, cut it out and, and put in a new phrase, but yes, the mouth might not quite match up. Um, usually I don't do a lot of overdubs. I just say, if I wanna take this line out, I just cross it out. And when I do that, it comes out of the script here. So if I take a line, and see, I can either correct it or I can replace it. So I can replace it, I can record over it, or I can correct it, or I can just cross it out and it won't say it. So you can see here, I play this. Uh, and removing silences, I can tighten up that sound. You know, all so it just, you can see it just didn't, uh, didn't use, it didn't use it, it left it out. I can also remove um, long pauses if I want. And the other thing I can do here with the actions, can you guys still see my screen? Because I got lost here. 
Okay, the slash, that's a good question. Okay, the slash is makes a new scene. So if I say, I don't want this background in the next scene, I would have to go in here and, you know, these are all scenes. So every time you have a slash, that creates a new scene. So that way you can change each individual section if you want. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you here that's pretty impressive is under actions, they have a new feature called Ask AI. And when I do that, you can add chapter markers, you can remove filler words, you can find good clips, which is really cool. You can have it suggest a title, you can have it do social posts, you can have it do show notes or a YouTube description, have it expand, have it shorten. So now it has all these cool AI things here where you'll say, um, I want to create a couple of social posts from this video. And if I click on that, it may not work that well because it's such a short video, it's only under two minutes. But here you can see, and I hope you can see that on my screen, it's really small. Um, let me try to make it bigger. Oh, it won't go any bigger. But you can see here, I've got option one, editing your videos just got a whole lot easier. Um, option two, tired of dealing with complicated video editing software. So it created these ready to go social media posts that I can use on um, Facebook or LinkedIn with hashtags and everything. Um, if I say, you know what, I want to put this on YouTube and do a YouTube description, I can say, give me a YouTube description. And not only will it give me the YouTube description, it'll also give me chapter markers. So it'll, it'll basically, you know, provide an outline. And then I can take what Descript gives me and copy it into YouTube if I post this video to YouTube. Hopefully that makes sense. So here you can see revolutionize, you came up with a title, revolutionize your video editing with Descript.com, a quick guide. It tells you what the video is about, and then it gives you chapter markers, which YouTube loves, because the more information you can give YouTube, the better. So um, it's made a whole bunch of su a summary here. I can just copy it to the clipboard and paste it on YouTube. So that's Descript. I do a whole deep dive um, week-long course on this that I'll probably do again in March next month. Yes, John, it did It did generate the hashtags for social media. So if I go back to Ask AI and I do, um, you can do show notes, blog post, social media. If I do the social posts, it will give me that, see the hashtags here, do script, video made easy gives you little emojis. I know it's really hard to see, but it's just small on the screen and I can't make it any bigger. But yeah, it does it all. It does all kinds of cool stuff. And as I mentioned, I do a Descript course, which I'll probably do again, because every time I do it, Descript changes really quickly. Um, typically, let's see, the Descript course, um, I can't even remember, honestly. Um, I'll have to put it in the notes. Um, Oh, I lied. Hold on a sec. Oh, I have the sales page here, but I just haven't updated it. Let me see if I can share it. Um, I totally forgot. So basically what I do is I update this course at, at least four times a year. It's $2.97, but it, when you join once, you get all the updates and new courses. So all the people who took it whenever I did it last, I think was December um they get in for free they get into the next one for free so uh six modules it really just does a much deeper dive and takes you step by step on how to create great looking videos using descript so um once that happens in march i'll i'll you know send you a note i'll let you know about it just so that you'll be up to speed on that um i'm gonna go back here and stop sharing um, does, Zoom has a great feature that enhances our appearance. Does it have that feature if we're filming in it? If you record in Squadcast, that's the touch up my appearance thing, which I've taken off now. Um, but yeah, you can definitely, um, you know, sort of enhance your appearance a little bit that way. The other thing it has that I don't use that much, which is pretty freaky, is um, an, a feature called eye contact. 
So um, on Zoom, Sandy, it's called Touch Up My Appearance. I don't remember what Squadcast calls it, but I'll, I'll have to check. Um, but um, Descript has a thing called eye contact. So if I'm looking at the screen instead of the camera, it's pretty freaky, but it'll move my eyes up to the camera. So if you use the eye contact function, Squadcast is part of Descript. It is included in Descript and it is um, a basically a better way to record. Um, let me see if I can pull it up for you. It's like Zoom, but better. So I'm going to share my screen again. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here. And show you real quick. Squadcast is included with Descript. So it'll let you do interviews like Zoom. Um, again, it's it's if you get Descript, you get Squadcast. And it gives you better audio sound. It gives you better audio overall. And then you can import your projects right into Descript because they're basically attached at the hip. Uh, Zoom is going to give you a 720p recording. Squadcast is going to give you a 1080, which is better. So you can, I think you can see that here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, Gives you just a lot more control, especially if you're doing interviews. Maybe you want to, you know, maybe your audio was good, but your guest's audio wasn't that good. You can correct that in Squadcast. So, um, and it's basically part of Descript. Squadcast and Descript, two tools for the price of one. Learn more, and there's the pricing. Um, bada bing, bada boom. That's Squadcast in a nutshell. Uh, all right, I'm going to stop sharing. Um, Descript.com is Descript, and I think if you saw a, a thing that said discoverdescript.com, that's my course that I'll do again in March. Uh, Loom, uh, I haven't used Loom in months. I, uh, I still have it, I think, but it's, yeah, I mean, you could theoretically, you can do the same thing with Descript. Um, so if I was, um, better at budgeting, I would probably say, I don't need StreamYard anymore. I don't need Loom anymore. I don't really even need Zoom. I'm just, you know, creature of habit. So I still have it. So, but again, all it replaces a lot of tools and it does a really good job. So let me go back to chat here. And if there are any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, um, when I share my slides, uh, yeah, you can do that, Sandy, in Squadcast. Can you let me show that on screen? Uh, yes, you can put yourself wherever you want in Squadcast. You can be a little square or a little circle. Um, but again, um, Squadcast does theoretically replace um, Zoom. Absolutely. So um, I'll go back there one more time since there's a few questions about it. Um, so let me share my screen again one more time before we wrap up. So um, they also have a free trial. But um, the thing I like about Squadcast is sometimes if I'm doing an interview and the guest's audio isn't that great, Squadcast makes it a lot better. And, and just the images and the, the you know, quality alone. Um, you can use it for podcasting. You can use it for interviews. Uh, it says you can use it for recording an audio book, which is kind of an interesting way to do it. Squadcast is a premier audio book recording software for authors and voiceover artists. So it's just a, a huge bonus that it comes with Descript because Descript basically bought them. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and go back to my screen and go back on screen um multicam switching that i don't know but it's i think it's possible like you can highlight this person or highlight that person emory and yes i will notify you when you start the when i start the descript class in march i just haven't figured out the dates um but the course is done i just update it every few months because descript changes fairly often so lots of cool stuff to explore here 
And then um, I'm going to go back to my slides just for a second because tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, Opus Clip. So yet another fun um, tool to try. Let me go back to the end of my script slides here. Let me find out where we're at. Oh, that's Opus Clip. So that's tomorrow. Oh, I'm giving you a sneak peek. So that's it. And again, I do this all year long in my fast forward group. Um, if you're part of this particular group, which is kind of like a small group coaching, you get coaching with me four times a year, uh, group coaching twice a month, and every single course I do all year, um, which includes um, the Descript course. So it practically pays for itself. Anyway, more about that at the end of the week. I don't want to bore you with that just yet. But tomorrow we'll be doing Opus Clip. So this is one that I'm a little less familiar with. I'm going to you know, dig into it a little bit more tonight. But again, there are a lot of tools. You just got to find the one that's right for you. And it's going to give you the most bang for your buck and help you do what you want to do when it comes to video. So that's it from here. I don't see any more questions. Um, oh, actually, I do see more questions. Fast forward is $97 a month or $9.97 a year. Um, Squadcast records to disk like Riverside. Yes, it's it's basically, you know, a lot of people have switched from Riverside to Squadcast. Good question. Fast forward is um, $97 a month or $9.97 a year, and it gets you private coaching, group coaching, uh, resources, all my courses, all kinds of cool stuff. And then in the Descript, you don't need to, you can attend every time, but you don't need to. Um, it's just that I have modules that are set that you can watch on at your own pace. And then I have live classes where I review everything and answer questions and do a, a real deep dive. Like we'll go in and we'll say, okay, today we're going to take a podcast, an audio podcast and turn it into a full video podcast. Um, Squadcast and Be Connected are pretty different. So no, Be Connected, is, um, Squadcast and Be Connected do not do the same thing. Um, and in the Descript updates, you do not need to attend live every time. It's totally up to you. It's just that Descript is evolving so quickly and adding features so quickly that I like to update it. Like all the AI stuff is new, so I want to teach that again. Um, if you're teaching videos for a course, ideally they should be the highest possible quality 1080p um, above that is 4k but some people don't even do that um, and 1080 is going to give you the best resolution i would say if you're selling a course that people are paying for you make it the highest possible quality um, if you're just doing a quick video or um, you know um, a check-in or something like that maybe doesn't matter as much. But I, I my philosophy is if somebody's paying for it, you got to make it the best possible quality that you can. Um, so that's it. Um, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow here, same time, same channel. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, does Squadcast integrate with Google Calendar? Jim, I do not know, but I'll try to find out for you. Um, I would imagine so. Um, so Zoom is... The quality of Zoom really depends on your internet connection, and there's a lot of other variables. Squadcast is far better quality than Zoom. I will say that unequivocally. Thanks, Linda. We'll talk soon, I hope. Thank you, Bryce, Biggie, John. Awesome that you're all here. I really appreciate it, and I hope you come back tomorrow for yet another AI tool. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you.